Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what the Crooked Cop's face on Halo 3 ODST actually looks like. So, as you all probably know by now, on the mission Data Hive, if you've collected all the audio logs throughout the whole campaign, uh, it actually unlocks a little Easter egg segment of this where the cop that follows you at the mission, he has a little errand to run or something to check up on, and he tells you to stay outside and uh, as it turns out, I mean, spoiler alert, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a crooked cop, because he's actually, he's actually here to cover up the, uh, evidence that, that his boss and probably others, uh, you know, killed that, uh, Sadie's father over here. And when you see what happens, uh, he gets mad at you, and then, well, as we all know, he turns against you, and, um, I believe he's technically, like, the first official human enemy in all of, like, Halo history. But you do need to uh, take him out, and I've done a lot of videos in the past about uh, whether you could save him or not, and you, tech you sort of can't. Uh, but anyways, for this video, we'll be taking a look at what he actually looks like, because he's wearing a visor the entire time, so we don't actually see his face. Now, I did kind of do a video on this uh, in the past, a long time ago, on a 360 version, but, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't that great, and you couldn't really get a clear look at the face because uh, it was in the dark and it was had to use visor mode and everything. But now, thanks to Halo 3 ODSD's mod tools being out, we can just spawn the uh, the cop on a much more well lit map, and also remove the visor easily. And once we've done that, we can now have our best look ever of what the Crooked Cop's face looks like. And this is his face underneath that uh, visor. And as you can see, the face is, uh, well, it was probably not actually meant to be seen. Like, he does have a face underneath the visor, but the face is very, um, low poly and low detail, and, like, the eyes, the eyes are, like, extremely low quality. And there's actually two versions of the Crooked Cop, but, uh, they both have the same face, I just included both just in case. Uh, but they're the same, it's just this one, also known as the light version, there's no facial animations on, on that one. But this one here, the one that's actually used on that mission, you can see the eyes do blink, but um, it, it's, uh, it, yeah, the, the face is very low quality. The eyes are like, they're all blurry and everything. But like I said, that's because the, the cop's face wasn't meant to be seen. And technically, uh, this face isn't exclusive to just that crooked cop. Um, all NMPD cops in uh, on in ODST, they all all the ones that use the same model with the vi the, the huge visor coming to their face, they all have the same face. It, this isn't like some special character face or anything. It's uh, it, it applies to any cop using this particular model. There are other cop models in the game actually. Uh, I think some of them we'll see in cutscenes or like outside of cutscenes and stuff like that. But this particular version, uh, it's it's going to be the same face for uh, all of them. So, uh, technically, it's not unique to that Crooked Cop, but it is his face as far as that particular mission goes. So, like I said, I did kind of briefly cover this in a video a long time ago, but I did want to revisit this and give you guys the best look possible, uh, the best look possible that we can for his face. And now we have it. So, there you guys have it. This is what that Easter egg Crooked Cop's face looks like uh, without the without that whole giant visor covering it so yeah there you guys have it uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did and found it to be interesting then as always make sure to leave a like uh leave your thoughts in the comments anything else we check out looking to or any questions you have anything you want me to experiment with or uh explore just let me know in the comments down below and i'll definitely do my best to check it out when i get a chance but aside from that if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time bye guys